matriculants across the country will get their results at the end of their school career. Many students will not get the results that will allow them to apply at tertiary institutions. This is, however, not the end of the road for these students, according to Professor Kurbus Murray from the Faculty of Education at the University of Pretoria. Now, the professor says with the right career guidance, everybody stands a chance to successful careers. Now, Professor Kurbus Murray joins us this morning from a Pretoria studio. A very good morning to you, Professor. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, your focus area, Professor, is educational psychology, especially in mathematical education. Can you explain to us what do you mean by this? My focus areas actually include mathematics, teaching and learning, but these days, <coughs> sorry, I specialize in career counseling. We use the words life design, career construction, but that's a matter for a different day. Now, uh, <coughs> Professor, you've done extensive research uh, on the areas of counseling students to guide them on the right career path. How then do you connect the students' uh, emotional and social intelligence with the right career choices? Um, it's commonly known that one's emotional social intelligence predicts success in life much better than grade 12 marks, for instance, do. So emotional social intelligence is of vital importance, um, something that everybody needs to work on all the time to improve if you really wish to be successful in the world of work, but in your life in general. And so what are the options that the students have at their disposal uh, who have not obtained the, the rightful results to go to tertiary institutions? Multiple options. N number one, I think we should move away from focusing on problems, problems, identifying problems, solving problems. Number one, we should focus on opportunities. And all of us as a collective should help people become aware of the multiple opportunities that are available. Number, number two, um, if you have not been successful, and you know what, failure is a very dirty, nasty old word. I, I think we should rid us our vocabulary of that word. Maybe we've not been successful the first time. So then we try a second time. So find out what it is that you really want to do. If possible, consult a career counselor. Let the person find out what your key life themes are, what your traits of character are, what the job requirements are, so they can combine the stories and the scores to guide you towards realizing your deepest needs. In other words, uh, find out whether you really want to go to a university, a university of technology, a TVET college, a private higher education institution. There are so many opportunities available. Like I said, having not been successful on a once-off basis is really not saying anything about you as a person. It says that for various reasons. You may have been ill. You may have been depressed. You may not have worked hard. Try, try to clarify the reasons so we don't repeat and, f and in, in, in the current vocabulary fail again. Again, this is very doable. Um, I want everybody to please just take heart from what you've done and also note that in career counseling, career psychology, psychology at large these days, we're not interested in, in looking at the past. We're looking, we're looking forward, trying to facilitate forward movement. And your biggest so-called failure between inverted commas will in the course of time become your biggest success if you really want it to, to become. Absolutely. I do agree with you. Failure will definitely become a bigger success. But then the problem is, Professor, that we've seen in the past years uh, is the societal considerations. Uh, when a student fails or does not do so well, um, those societal considerations come into mind as to what the community will say about me or what the family and the, f the fans and the peers will say about them. And then that throws the pupil totally off the rails. So how does a student uh, handle the psychological side of disappointing results? Talk, talk, talk. In other words, we must talk about things that bother us. And I'm, I'm pleading with society to refrain from blame, blaming people, um, to refrain from using words such as failure. What I'm asking society at large to do is make people aware of the vast opportunities that are available. Can I give you a simple example? Oftentimes during my workshops and lectures, in fact, all the time, I ask, for instance, the waiter what it is that she or he really wants to do. And you know, 
unfailingly, these wonderful stories emerge of people that feel unvoiced, that feel they sit in a so-called lowly job and they don't have opportunities. Well, we have a CETA system, we have a SACWA system. You know what, if you send an SMS, the SACWA people will phone you back. Call their toll-free number, they'll talk with you, they'll guide you. So many things have changed, so many opportunities are available. We should make each other aware of the opportunities that are available. And again, please, mothers, fathers, friends, those of us that, are, that have passed grade 12, that, those of us that are successful, the last thing I, I want from you is to, to blame, to, make, to, to belittle people, to make people feel inferior. No, no, no. Help each other. Reach out to each other. Be useful to each other. Indeed, indeed, Professor. And parents uh, play a, a pivotal role in, these, in their children's education. And uh, what can they do to assist them with regards to career choices? Like I said, Parents need to listen to their children. Now is not a time to blame anybody, to point fingers, to get angry. Your child will go through all the different phases of grief. Getting angry, feeling depressed, bargaining, self-reproach, all those phases repeatedly. What you need to do is to be there for your child. Better still, make an appointment with the nearest career counselor, the nearest educational, counseling psychologist, clinical, industrial, whoever is available and willing and ready to do career counseling. Every child in this country, in fact, every person, deserves to be assessed so they can help us identify the major life themes. Do we want to stand up for people that have been bullied? Do we want to do the statistics um, for a soccer team? We, we have these, these pointers already at our disposal. We know what it is that, that, that people want to do once we've assessed them. Let right. that person assess you and guide you. All right, Professor, great chatting to you this morning. Thank you so much for your time. Thank well, you, th that was uh, Professor, Pr Professor Kubas Mare at the University of Pretoria at the Department of, uh, of Education. And the professor's message is that a career exists for everybody. And for more information about possible career choices and advice on evaluation, please visit www.kubasmare.org. It's www.kubasmare.org.